All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I got three TTMs for you on this Monday, and they all come from the greatest city in North America, and that is Chicago. So let's get to the first one, and it comes from Randy Martz. Randy Martz was recruited to the University of South Carolina to play some football, but after two years of playing just football, he decided that he was going to give baseball a try after spending his summers playing in local leagues around his hometown and after his football coach was let go or resigned whatever he decided to give baseball a 100 percent of his attention and went 14 and 0 as a junior and helped lead the gamecock to the college world series unfortunately they lost to arizona state and randy mart says the big reason why they made the college world series that year was because of mookie wilson I don't I don't know Mookie Wilson's stats, but 14 and 0 is pretty gosh darn good, and I would say that would be a good reason why you you went to the College World Series. But uh, good for him to say, hey, it was somebody else who 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 helped us along the way. It wasn't just me. So it's on to the next one, and it comes from Rudy Mioli. Rudy Mioli played sparingly in his short MLB career. Was mostly an up and down guy. Didn't play many full seasons between his time with the Angels and the Cubs. He spent a couple of years with the Reds, but never made it to the big league. Was always in uh, the minor leagues with the Reds. Uh, currently, Rudy Mioli lives in the Boise, Idaho area. And along with Max Vittable and Logan Easley and Eric Fox, they help um, Boise youth in uh, developing them into baseball players. That was all started by Bill Buckner, uh, but the after Bill Buckner died, the four of them just continue and uh, help out the Boise area youth with some baseball skills. Now it's on to the next one, and it comes from former Cub top prospect Kevin Ory. Kevin Ory had a very solid rookie season in 1997, hit around 280-some, and... Got a couple of votes for Rookie of the Year. Now, Scott Rowland obviously deserved the Rookie of the Year that year. Uh, but unfortunately, the sophomore jinx hit him. And he only hit 219 as a as a second-year player. He might be best remembered for was it a hit or was it an error on May 6, 1998. On Kerry Wood's 20 strikeout game. Kerry Woods says, give it a hit all the way. Kevin Ory pleaded with the official score after the game, please give me an error, please give me an error. Uh, Ricky Gutierrez, of course, was the hitter, and Ricky apparently kept reminding Kerry Wood when he came to Chicago that it was he was the only guy to get a hit off him that afternoon. But Kevin Ory was one of those top prospects with the Cubs, uh, along with Gary Scott at third base. Uh, the Cubs were just... A, a black hole of people lining up at third base uh, after Ron Santo retired in the 70s. And it they went through third basemen like people go through underwear. They finally did get some, some stability at third base with Aramis Ramirez, who played a very solid third base for a number of years with the Cubs. But Kevin Ory was a pre- and post-game host with the Pittsburgh Pirates on radio. Uh, he stopped doing that around 2014. I'm not 100% sure what he is up to now. But that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.